Welcome back to Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Last episode we reached Elysium, and now we have gotten to the little church where the church bells kind of rang through. And now the architect has instructed us to go down this little staircase here. So let's go ahead and do that. If you enjoyed today's video, if you find it useful with your playthrough of Xenoblade Chronicles 2, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to continue following along as we wrap up Chapter 10 and just the whole game in general. It's been a lot of fun and I am so excited for Xenoblade 3, but Xenoblade Chronicles 2 is one of my all-time favorites. The building's holding up well inside. Quality of structural materials much better than in city outside. This made of same substance as World Tree itself. Same as the World Tree. <gasps> huh? Hey, where is everyone? Pyra! Grumps! Pyra! Mithra! What is that? The Ardanian Imperial Army. Their equipment looks ancient. Like it's come from the past. What is up with this place? Nia! Dromark! I'm so glad you... Why, Rex? Huh? You told us Elysium was real! My lady and I traveled all this way at your behest. Master Rex, did you intentionally deceive us? I trusted you, you know. I came here because I trusted you! N Nia! Dromark, what are you talking about? How do you explain this? You, you've got it wrong. I told you. I promised Pyra to... Pyra. Oh, right. Pyra. Pyra. Pyra, Pyra, Pyra. Is that it? You've only got eyes for her. Get your head out of your ass. Nia, you're being weird. What is going on? My lady has given up everything for you, yet still you realize nothing. Even now you cannot see. I've been here all along. Why won't you realize? Look! Just look at me, Rex! Well, that was a little weird. Beware an attack. Okay, time to take Blind you down. Spot. Oh, Why those are some weird blades. Don't give the up on me. We came way. all this My way. Exactly. For what? There is no Gah. Elysium. There never yeah. was. Gah. Butterfly blade. Cyclone smash. Gemini, you blind spot. Okay. Why the wind's blowing? Wind smash. It's all been Rest for nothing. Quick. Wild side. Give the word. Go all right. You, you Where do you need me? me? I won't like Thanks for that. 
Red and swing. All right, hit him. Should finish her off pretty easy. Oh, close. Okay. There we go. Got it. Stronger than before. I can still fight. I'm sorry. Answer me, Rex. Why did you lie to us? How could you betray our trust? Uh, Why would Nia and Dromok? You really are a fool. Ah. Morag? Bridget? Huh? Moradane? You're so thoughtless. Morag! Here you are, wasting time. And all the while, my countrymen are... Do you have any idea what you've done? What... What are you... You just run ahead, without a thought for anyone else, and this is the result! I couldn't save anyone. If only we hadn't come here. I could have saved my people. I could have saved Niall. If only it weren't for you, Rex! But me? I didn't mean to... I hope you're happy now. You dragged us to some empty ruins. I hope that was worth everything we sacrificed. Show him a thing, uh, like Just keep your spirits high, Rex. Ow! Blind Ow. spot! Why not? The winds blow you our way. me. My thoughts are exactly. high hopes for you. Come on there, Rex. Careful now. Much obliged. Oh. Cyclone smash! You're wide open! Uh. Wing smash! Blind Herschel. spot! Why not? You call yourself Dragon of the Ages. An opportunity to God free. We're happy to protect you. Fall Fighting back to the Gallard, do you intend to continue tough. this farce of a battle? Ready and swing. willing. Blade. Draw the enemy's attention this way. Feral Blade. Break. Roger. Hit it. No. Come on. Yes, got it. Flesh wound. Please, stop this! What's the use in fighting amongst ourselves now? What's the use? For vengeance! What more reason do I need? What? That's right. We must take our vengeance. For the thousands of lives you have stolen! I... killed? No, no way! I didn't! I'll have your life for an apology, Rex! <laughs> Stop right there! How dare you run! What is this place? What's wrong with everyone? Pyra! Mithra! Grams! Where are you? Where are you guys? Why Rex 
Rex Rex run! Tora! Puppy! Zeke and Pandoria! Don't tell me you're wrong! You having fun, chum? Playing the hero like the kid you are, stringing us adults along. That, that, that's not... Rex Rex's bad friend. Why Rex Rex become driver when Tora cannot become driver? Tora tries so hard, and for what? It's useless! Master Pawn is right. Rex just have a little luck and become driver of Aegis? Poppy never asked to be born as imitation. Poppy want to be real, too. Not fair! I bet it felt real good, didn't it? Getting special treatment from everyone. Getting chosen by the Aegis. Who decided you should have all that power? How about you hand it over to the prince right now? He deserves it. Stop it already! I did nothing wrong to any of you. So you haven't worked that out either. In your hurry to get here, you never stop to consider all the things you left lying in your wake! All right, well, Zeke and Tora aren't very happy either. Let's show them a thing or three. Let's get Tora first. Ah, I missed. The Aegis isn't for the likes of you, child. She needs a real man. Yeah, what? Did Zeke just say that? I missed. The wind's blowing our way. Tora wants to be a real Why not? Rigid shield. Rush down. Wing smash! Yep. Careful but it wasn't now! Wasn't to become Much real life. driver! Wild size! Godfrey! All right! Where are you at? No effect! Godfrey on guard! Dive and swing! I'll keep you safe! I am nice wrong! Nice resonance here! Oh, my thoughts exactly! Aegeo! Draw the enemy's attention this way! Battle for dead and man! We got to fight a blade! Puppy! All power to Break weapons it. systems! Are you ready for Puppy's full capability? As expected. Is my power showing? My thoughts are rock. I am rock. Wing smack. Always have been. Always will. The wind shall destroy you. Dude, stage three might be able to. Nice. First try, too. Enough stuff. Tora, Poppy. No, I never wanted this. Zeke, Pandoria. What are you doing, Rex? What? Huh? Gramps. This place. What is the point? Well, huh, Gramps? What is the point of us, really? We are born as blades, then return to our slumber, again and again, over countless years. Until we become titans, to wander this world for countless more. And at the end of it all, we sink into nothingness. Have you ever thought about it? What it means to exist for close to an eternity with no clear purpose or goal? That's... Must be nice to be human. Living for a limited time 
thinking limited thoughts, it must be so much easier. I envy your kind. Just think, Rex, would you? What would you do if you were me? Would you be happy to drift around the ocean with a human on your back? Is that all I am to be? I don't know how I'm supposed to answer that. Why are you asking me? You're being strange. Everyone's acting so strange. Welcome back. You're late, Rex. Where did you wander off to? Pyra. Mithra. Come on. Let's go ahead and eat. I've cooked up a whole bunch of your favorites. I hope you've got room. Well, eat up. Which kind of bread do you want? Oh, uh, um, maybe this and this. There you go. <sighs> Thanks. Hey, do you want some wine? Oops. <laughs> You're too young. Silly me. Mithra, has something happened? What do you mean? It's just you're a lot nicer than normal. Stop it. I'm always nice to you, aren't I? If, if you say so. Hey, Rex, come on. How can you sit down to eat without washing your hands first? That's a faux pas. Go wash your hands right now. Um, sorry. You're acting almost like Mithra today, Pyra. Did you scrub them properly? Yeah. They're clean. Great. Okay, then. Let's eat. Thanks for the food. Um... It looks really good. Tastes even better. Of course it does. After all, I made it myself. Maybe I'll try my hand next time. Mithra, no. You know how that always ends. But carbon's good for you. Anyway, I want to do something nice for Rex, too. No cooking. Who's gonna save the world if Rex gets the runs? You're so mean. It was only that one time. Um, it's okay, you two. I don't care who cooks. I'm just happy with... I'm happy with... so strange <laughs> I don't even know what I'm doing here anymore everyone's all wrong they all said I but now you too <laughs> did did I go wrong somewhere
I think that's enough. Please, Father. You guys. Uh, Rex. Why are we all here? I thought I was... I merely wished... to examine the shapes of your hearts. That voice. Your... My name is Klaus, the architect of this world. I have watched over you all this time. I have seen your thoughts, your desires, the things you have achieved. So you did that just now? Yes, those were not your present forms but alternate possibilities. Your other selves that lie within. That is what I wanted to see. Our other selves? You mean we're all thinking stuff like that, deep down? Was that how we really feel? Then you saw it too? Looks like we were all shown the same kind of stuff. It creeped me out. What are you trying to prove? Those were the fears you harbor. I don't get it at all. What was your purpose in showing us this? Those were not pleasant visions to behold. My only purpose was to find out how mankind has changed and where it is headed. And were you disappointed? No. As you stand before me right now, that is who you are. That is enough. Architect, sir. I came here because I met Pyra. Is this really Elysium? Are you really? I will show you everything. Memories. Mine. And those of this planet. This world was once the stage. Of a struggle for survival. That dwarfed this current predicament. The world was an unseemly place. Though glimpses of beauty persisted. What should people live for? Who should they live for? They live for themselves. To harbor desires and struggle to realize them. That is the natural state of man. But I did not think that was good enough. I lost hope for mankind. I searched tirelessly for an outside solution. And one day, I found it. The conduit. Why it chose to appear before us, I do not know. However, its existence presented a new possibility. Possibility? Our world was not the only one. Endless universes coexist, side by side, yet all completely unaware of one another. The conduit was our link to these foreign worlds. And I opened 
that forbidden gateway, praying that it would change the world. You have seen the plain called Moritha, have you not? That is what remains of my world. When I opened the conduit, many people and many things disappeared into distant dimensions. All that remained here were the ruins of Moritha and half of my body. Your body? Half of me lives on in some other dimension. But not for much longer. What do you mean? The moment of my other self's demise draws near. Father, you... I was a fool. Because of my foolishness, I lost everything. Left here, alone and broken, I longed for oblivion, but even that eluded me. This is my punishment. Retribution from on high, for the sin I have committed. On high? There was only one thing I could do. I had to atone for my sin. I swore to restore this world. The first thing I created was a special particulate substance with the ability to restore deteriorated matter. You all know it as the Cloud Sea. The Cloud Sea can disassemble matter it comes in contact with and rebuild it in the image of all the things that once made up this world. This way, little by little, I could rebuild the world I had brought to ruin. Next, I began to recreate life. I gathered miniature vessels containing memories of all this planet's former life forms. And I scattered them across the Cloud Sea. These are the core crystals. The crystals bonded with the Cloud Sea's particulate reconstructors and formed the nuclei of new life. Those nuclei developed into minute life forms, the Titans, who would, over time, grow larger and larger. Finally, the Titans gave birth to complex organisms based on the data in their core crystals. This newly birthed life over untold millennia evolved into a new breed of mankind. So that's how we came to live in this world. But I did not trust this world, born as it had been. What if it were to repeat our mistakes? What if someone like me appeared? To stave off these doubts, I implemented one final measure. And so the blades were born. Ontos, Logos, and Numa. The three cores of the Trinity Processor formed their cornerstone. However, Ontos triggered a space-time transition event and disappeared forever. I was left with the other two, Logos and Numa, entrusting them with managing the blades. Malos and Pyra. Those are the names that you now know them under. So... I am... 
Numa. Managing. The core crystals at the heart of each blade are tasked with relaying all kinds of information to Logos and Numa about the selection pressures of the outside world and the biological status of their bonded human, but also the experiences and emotions they share. As the data continually accrues, new evolutionary code is sent back to the core crystals. And this code is used to create new, further evolved blades. These blades too become titans in time and create new generations of life forms. This was the new circle of life I had created. A grand scheme. It boggles the mind, Dad. So we're all born from this endless cycle of life to replace the victims of the previous world. That's right. But there were also a handful of survivors. I believe you saw them when you were in Moritha. The unfortunate ones who clung to life. Ah. You mean those monsters? Were they originally people? Core crystals were first conceived as a replacement for human brain cells, a product of mankind's age-old quest for immortality. And that's what became of them. How awful. But that technology became the starting point for the creation of blades and titans. So, in one sense, their sacrifice was not in vain. Though not all may see it as such. So tell us, in the end, did we develop as you had hoped? What do you think? I couldn't possibly. Well, those phantasms which you all experienced earlier, those are feelings that lurk in all of your hearts. As well as that man, Amalphasus. When a person loses something, they cannot help but seek a reason why. Within themselves, or in others. They seek a concrete answer to the question of who they really are, deep inside such a very lonely existence but perhaps that is what it is to be human all this data passed through me and i knew huh. all of you you were not in any way different from us before. Huh. That's why I did not intervene. 500 years ago, when the man finally arrived here, I did nothing when he took away Logos and Numa. I stood and watched as Logos, instantiated into blade form, set out to purge the world. You don't make sense. Didn't you go to all that trouble to rebuild it? Then why would you... It is fate. Fate? It is fated to happen. It cannot but happen. My atonement... was doomed from the start. That can't be. I had made my peace with it. Once more, I longed for nothing more than to disappear. However, something has now changed. 
And that is you, Rex. You and Numa. Me and Pyra and Mithra. You reforged your bond in a way I had not thought possible. And the life you share. Moreover, the conduit, which fell into a stubborn silence after the world's end, has begun stirring once more. Rex. The power you and Yuma exercise is the conduit's power. It comes leaking out of some far-flung dimension. And it is a power we can know nothing about. But with its help, the world may be about to change. What's all this shaking? It is Logos. Malos. Trying to destroy this world and everything in it. What? Remember, at heart, he is but an information processing unit. Neither good nor evil. He is driven by a certain impulse. The despair that the man named Amalthus felt. I see. So it was right. What I felt back then, I mean. Rex. Rex. What is it you desire? What else? To stop Malos. And if you succeed? I'll punch him in his stupid face, and then... probably get a drink with him or something. That's the sixth rule of the Salvager's Code. First have a punch out, then drink to forget. Once you've forgotten, the friendship's all set. I'm... not old enough to drink yet, though. I see. Numa. No, I should call you Pyra and Mithra. What is it? I want to apologize... for having burdened you... with all this. Don't worry. We're actually great. Thanks to you, Father, we got to meet Rex. And everyone else. Those are cherished memories. Father. I have transferred all of Elysium's data and authorizations to you. Make me proud. We will. Rex. Yes. I will disappear soon. When I do, the conduit will likely disappear from this world. You will not be able to use your power forever. I understand. We'll make do somehow. I'm counting on you. Close. changed your mind about this world? Right now, I think I am glad I met you. Got it. Then, our answers match. Thank you for giving us all life.
Mitra, where's Malos? If he is here, I know where he must have gone. Where is it? Tell us. The greatest of all artifices. The artifice that exists solely to destroy the world. Ion. Ion? So that's what Malos meant. Then, that's where we'll go! And that's where we will go. But, that's where we will go next episode. That's going to be all for today's video as I readjust my blades here. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe my down below. Blood boils. As we head to get over to Malos. I need to switch the party around. But, um, but yeah. Like I said, if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. As we push towards the final boss, Malos. Here in Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Thanks again. We'll see you in the next one.